2016 is seeing the beginning of the virtual reality world. To truly experience it, you need a headset. There are tons of different models of VR headset available in the market, but if you're looking for a low budget VR headset, Google Cardboard is the one for you. But people will say you don't get to play PC games on such a low budget VR headset. To that, I say we can. Hey guys, welcome to Sloop Tech. So this video is about playing PC games in your Google Cardboard or any other VR headset. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is grab your smartphone, open Play Store and search for Trinus VR. There are two versions of this app. One is free and other is paid. The free version is limited up to 10 minutes. Yeah, we can only play games up to 10 minutes. And the paid, yeah, we can play it unlimited. So you want to install this and I had already done that. I'm going to open it. So this is this app gonna look like. So I'm gonna give you a dis link in the description below. You wanna go to there in your PC and download this software for your PC, Trinus. So after you have installed it, you wanna open it. So it's gonna take a little bit time. You know, it's a little bit heavy app, not so heavy. So it's gonna look something like this, yeah, entering Trinus, then yeah. So this is the advanced mode, but when you are using this for first time, this window is gonna appear. And there are two options you can see now, Wi-Fi, USB. So I'm gonna hit settings and go to advanced. So this is gonna look something like this. And first setting is head model. I'm gonna change that to default. That is perfect. And I'm gonna check second option is image size. That depends upon your smartphone. I'm gonna for, go for ultra. Then image quality again depends upon your smartphone. I'm gonna leave something like yeah, this is perfect. Then I'm gonna change this to about fast again this depends upon your smartphone and uh, yeah fast works for me then the track I'm gonna change that to free track because you wanna have the head track right so then change that to 75 percentage and network there is a Wi-Fi hotspot on over here I'm gonna turn off that I'm gonna cover this part later so then comes the video that's an important part so the fake 3d is the main option you want to play with here so I'm gonna change that to def I mean disable because I have a third-party plugin I mean software for for creating my third dimensional image so that software is called Tridef. I'm gonna be giving a link in the description so that you can check out if you don't have it, you want to change that to enable, but I think this Tridef 3D works better than this Trinus Fake 3D. So I'm going to change that to disable and now turn on this Trinus. Now I'm going to grab my smartphone and yeah, I'm going to insert that micro USB and go to settings. And I'm gonna go to settings then hit more then USB tethering on I'm gonna turn on USB tethering then again go to yeah this app Trinus VR now I'm gonna power on that hit this power on and BAM you are gonna see a display of your computer with VR mode but I'm gonna be teaching you now without the micro USB cable so you want to go for the network you want to turn 
on the Wi-Fi hotspot and you can see an SSID that's your Wi-Fi ID and the password yeah that's the password for this uh, hotspot I mean the Wi-Fi so you want to note that because you want to connect with your mobile right so now grab your mobile I mean smartphone and yeah go and select the Wi-Fi or oh, I mean, have to remove this micro USB so now go to Wi-Fi and you can see a trinus then connect it you want to hit password and mine is my password I think the default is my password so hit connect after you type the password yeah hit connect then it's gonna connect and you wanna go yeah turn on your trinus VR app again so open you trinus VR then power on then do the same to your PCs yeah now I had turned on the most water it's I think this game does not need a head track but I'm gonna go for this yeah you can see that I'm playing that same game in my mobile I mean smartphone you can see that no lag but if you're using micro USB you can get better result I mean there will be no lag at all so now I'm gonna check this thing with using VR so yeah like I'm inside there hey guys hope you enjoyed this video if you have any question let me know in the comment section and if you want to watch more tutorials like this you can hit that subscribe button and also share this video and if you like this give us a thumbs up that really help us a lot so guys until next time we meet